Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is the Unravel Collective. My name is Yvonne. I channel the Ninth Dimension Arcturian Council. And I want to start off by saying um, thank you so much to those of you who have responded um, to the May Q&A with the Arcturians. I have received your emails. I just haven't had a chance to respond back to you. So I just want to take a moment now to say thank you for your feedback. Thank you for letting me know how deeply it resonated with you, how deeply um, it impacted you, that the guidance and advice, sorry, my nose is really itchy. Uh, the guidance and advice given to you was helpful and that it did um, speak to your experience. So thank you for your emails. I really do appreciate that because when I do the Q&As, um, you know, I have no idea if what's coming through is going to uh, help you or if it's spot on or not. You know, I'm just sort of just in the dark about that. So um, when I do get your feedback and you tell me that it was so directly spot on and that it made sense and that it, it definitely touched you, um, that makes all the difference in the world to me and helps me want to continue offering the Q&As as well. So thank you so much. For those of you who don't know, I do offer a Q&A with the Ninth Dimension Arcturian Council. It's going to be the first Saturday of every month. So the last Saturday of every month is when I will remind you to submit your questions and or go ahead and go to my website. The link is down below. Um, subscribe to my email list so that you will always be reminded of when it's time to submit your question. I like to receive them via email so that they're all in one place. Okay. Now let's get started with today's um, transmission. And I am sorry I'm late. It's Monday. I usually release videos on Saturday, uh, but I didn't have time this weekend. So here we are. It's Monday. I'm getting it out. I did this transmission earlier today. So I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you. I had the question of how do we connect to our spirit guides? This is what I asked them today. So I hope this is of interest to you because I get these questions a lot in the Akashic Records readings I do. So I figured why don't we ask the Arcturians about how do we better connect with our spirit team, our spirit guides. So if you're interested in hearing what they had to share with us, please stick around. All right, so here is what the Arcturians had to share about how to connect to our spirit guides. This is a beautiful question and we know that many of you feel separated from your spiritual guides or your spiritual team. And what we would like to remind you is that you are not separated from them. They are available to you at all times. All you need to do is speak to them as if you were speaking to a friend. They are here with you, some of them at different points of your life, some of them for the entirety of your life. But regardless, there is always many guides in many different realms assisting you on the earth plane. You have past loved ones as well who are assisting you, who are nudging you into different directions or perhaps saving you from an experience that they feel would not be beneficial to you in this moment. Of course, all experiences are up to you. However, there are times where a loved one will push you to have an impulse to go in a different direction in order to save you from an experience that perhaps is not meant to be in the timeline of which it is occurring in that moment. Now, how do you connect with your spirit guides? This is a common question, yes? Many of you, as we said, feel separated from your spirit team. So we would like to ask you to gently open your heart to them. Gently open it without expectation or over analysis of who is there to speak to you or why can't I see them yet? Why can't I hear them yet? You are hearing them often. And oftentimes it does sound like your inner voice, which is why you do not recognize that you are in touch with your spirit guides. We all channel messages from our higher self and our spirit team, our guides and our loved ones. 
For some of us, it comes in the form of recognizing an impulse that suddenly arises within us. Others may see a flower and suddenly have a memory or an idea come to them out of nowhere. Some of you are receiving messages in your dreams. Some of you will encounter a person who has the exact message you needed to hear in that moment where it touches your heart in a very specific way. Some of you will actually hear with your ears a voice speaking to you. It may be one word, it may be several words that are very detailed. Some of you may feel a presence, a presence around you, a presence that is offering you comfort, a presence that is holding your hand, stroking your hair. These are all ways of connecting with your spirit guide. And as we mentioned before, they are always with you. You can call on them at any time. They are your assistants. They are your companions. They are your cheerleaders. They are your friends. And they understand that the earth plane is a difficult and challenging place to be, which is why they are constantly with you, assisting you and offering you the chance and opportunity to move through things with ease. And when it is not useful, they are holding you in light, supporting you, loving you, just as a parent would, allowing you to have the experience of emotions and feelings here on the earth plane, allowing your heart to grow from these experiences, allowing the expansion to be had simply by holding you. So our advice to you, dear one, is to not try so hard to connect with your spirit guides or your spirit team. It doesn't have to be so serious. It's actually quite light and you can communicate with them at all times, not just very specific times of intense ceremony. You can speak to them while you're on a walk, while you're driving in your car, just before you sleep, while you're washing the dishes, whatever it is, my dear ones. They are available to you at all times and yes, you can also set a very intentional and specific uh, time for ceremony, quality time, so to speak. But our greatest reminder to you today is to remember that you are not separated from them. They are continuously offering you what you need in the moment to bring peace and well-being, to bring you growth and expansion, and to hold you in times of challenge and difficulty in order to grow and expand. To be here takes great courage, and they know this. So their greatest job is the fulfillment of supporting you and assisting you and loving you. This is what we would like to share with you today. Thank you for this opportunity. This has been the Ninth Dimension Arcturian Council. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share with anyone you think might be interested in receiving weekly guidance from these beautiful beings, the Ninth Dimension Arcturian Council. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you on Saturday. Bye.